our next caller is Clark from Tennessee. Hey, Clark, how can we help you? Hey, so first off, uh, huge fan. I really love you guys' podcast and everything you guys do. And thank you for taking my question. Uh, so I recently finished uh, Map Strong. I uh, had a lot of really good strength gains with it. Uh, I had to take a month off of lifting for a, a non-injury procedure, uh, and now I'm I'm back at it, and uh, I want to start Maps Aesthetic. Uh, but I, in in order to gain some um, some muscle and some strength to help boost my metabolism, as you guys preach on the show. Uh, but I'm also training for a triathlon at the end of July and the end of August. And I wanted to know uh, how you guys would recommend pairing uh, MAPS aesthetics uh, with triathlon training in order to still gain some uh, muscle and some strength. Okay, so I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. No, these are con- con- <laughs> bad combo. conflicting goals yeah. right here, brother. Yeah, here's what'll happen. Yeah, if you do, yeah, for sure. Here's what'll happen if you do MAPS aesthetic while training for a triathlon. You'll lose muscle, overtrain, probably injure yourself. Okay, so. I've trained okay. quite I've trained quite a few triathletes and I know mm-hmm. the type of training that is involved with being a triathlete uh, a triathlete and being successful at it. Um, it's a lot of obviously a lot of running, biking and swimming. And so yep. the strength training that you're going to do to supplement that is actually quite minimal, okay? Mm-hmm. We don't want to do a lot. Most of the time you should spend training should be on those three things that you do and maybe correctional exercise to prevent injury. If you do strength train, which I think you should, I would limit it to one day a week and you would do maybe okay. maybe four exercises. Four exercises, a few sets each, just to build overall strength. Focus on compound lifts, your general lifts, and mm-hmm. that's pretty much it. Any more than that, if you add that to your current training, it's just going to be too much. And the closer you get to your race, the less of the resistance training you're going to do because your training for the triathlon is going to ramp up the closer you get to the competition. As that ramps right. up, you got to scale back the resistance training. And, and at that point, and what I would do with my clients, you know, about four weeks before the event, is we would stop lifting weights and only do correctional exercise. I would only do mm-hmm. mobility work with them just to prevent injury and keep them mobile leading up uh, to the event. Now, I have a question because the only way I'd have different different advice is if you, you answer this question uh, different is – how, okay. how, you know, the triathlon, are you, are you very serious and competitive about it? Or is it like something that you and your buddy just want to do for fun? Uh, it's just for fun. Uh, just more of an achievement. Um, so something I'd be able to complete and do, um, you know, I guess for me, the overarching goal would just still be continually gaining uh, muscle and strength, uh, to just, you know, I, I really, it, as I listen to you guys' show more and more, you know, preaching, boosting the metabolism, helping the body, you know, kind of do the work for right. you. I, I like that idea and I would like to continue to down that path. Okay. So, um, I got, you know, I, I, I got to count. I got to counter that. I'm going to counter that because nobody does a triathlon just for fun. That is serious. <laughs> that is serious. I mean, you're talking about uh, like mileage in three it's different, yeah. you know, endurance uh, disciplines. So, um, that's a lot of training just to get ready for it. So here's another, I'm going to add one more question to what Adam said. What okay. does, what does your typical week look like getting ready for a triathlon? That'll give us more information. That'll give us the right information, I guess. Yeah. So, um, getting ready for a triathlon, I mean, I, I'm able to pair maybe two exercises, like a swim and a run in a day to get it down to four to five days of training a week. The training plan that I have triathlon wise recommends six days of training yeah. a week, mm-hmm. um, in order to get ready. And yeah. how, how many miles, how many miles are you running, uh, biking and swimming throughout the week on average? Uh, so on average, uh, probably running, uh, at least six to seven miles a week, um, biking, you know, um, range on average, probably 20 miles and then, um, swimming, you know, close to 3000 meters, um, yeah. A week. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah, going to, st- I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to stick to what I said. Yeah. yeah. Sal's yeah. right. Sal, okay. So if you're going to follow that, Sal's a hundred percent right. The reason why I asked right. the question I asked is because, and b- by the way, I didn't do a triathlon. I did like a, a muddy buddy race, which is like 10, <laughs> 10 K, right? 10 K. But I did it with, with the same type of intention that it muddy sounds buddy. like you kind of have. It was like a, you know, me and my two best friends talking shit to each other, playing video games over a weekend. They're calling me out because like I was this big muscle bound guy that, I wouldn't be able to race them and beat them. I talk shits that I would, but yet I really cared about the way I looked. I didn't want to change that, but I knew that if I threw in a little bit of cardio in my training, 
to leading up to that. I had the I had enough to be able to hopefully win, which I did. Uh, but I didn't lose a lot of muscle, but I also didn't do a lot of cardio. I did just enough yeah. to know that I could get out there and finish the race, and I, I had enough grit in me to, to push through and do okay. I didn't by any means finish first or in the top 10 of anybody that was finishing there. So I do think that if you're, you're like, hey, I just want to say I completed a triathlon, and so mm -hmm. I swim one day, I bike one day, I run one day for an hour of training, I absolutely think that you can complement that with strength training and still kind of hang on to some muscle mass and look all right. But with the regimen that you're running, the amount that you are you are running and biking and swimming, that is already so high yeah. that anything more than probably one day a week of strength training is going to be overkill. I probably wouldn't do more okay. than one. And I would definitely focus on highlighting the posterior chain in that strength training uh, regimen to, to be able to support all this you, you know anterior driven type of movement and, and repetitive right. stress and also really like emphasizing ankle mobility hip mobility keeping that uh, you know a constant thing throughout the day multiple times a day uh, you know to keep you nice and healthy in your joints going through this uh, crazy uh, adventure yeah and I, I here's yeah. some here's some great exercises your your barbell squat's going to be good the closer you okay. get to, the closer you get to your race do split stance so stop barbell squatting do things like lunges or Bulgarian split stance squats or single leg exercises, single leg toe touches are a good exercise. Uh, overhead carries are going to be really good to help you with your, your core and your posture. Overhead presses are going to be really good. Bench presses are fine. Not a big deal. You don't need to do a ton of them, but bench presses are fine. I like rows. I like rows a lot for, for triathletes because it helps, again, with countering that forward posture that you get from running and from from cycling. Um, uh, pullovers. Pullover, dumbbell pullovers, barbell oh. pullovers. Great exercises for the, the swimming portion. It also help strengthen that kind of shoulder mobility at the top. So there's some exercises you can focus on. Are you doing a standard distance, like Olympic uh, distance triathlon? Are you are you doing the sprint or? Yeah. Okay. So I've done a sprint before, and so I'm trying to accomplish the uh, the Olympic uh, this year. So okay. um, yeah, that which you know is quite a bit. Distance. Yes, bro. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Yeah. Bro. A little bit of a challenge. <laughs> yeah, 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 no big deal. Yeah, take, yeah, it, take a, it easy on yourself, dude. What one minute, one massive goal at a time. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's almost yeah. that, that's almost one mile swim. That's a was a 25 mile bike ride and then a, a yeah. six mile over six mile run in, in all yep. one race yeah so yeah. all right well hey good yeah. luck yeah once a week resistance training do correctional exercise that's it don't do any more than that okay don't do maps aesthetic all right. while training for a triathlon yeah. do it later all right perfect sounds good thank you guys so no, much no problem yeah, when you're when you're training for an event, train for the event. This don't, is what we. And, and some this events is the are, number one question that we get all the time, and I don't think we we well, have, you want your cake and eat it too. You know, you want all the things. It does. Everybody want everybody wants to be like a triathlete and look jacked. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It they're is. just they're just conflicting Dude, goals. I went through this when I was doing jujitsu. I went through this. I trained in jujitsu. Love lifting weights. Didn't want to give up either one or whatever. And I just overtrained. Yeah, but I, I didn't get better until I scaled my resistance training down to twice yeah, that a week. Takes away from your training. That was it. You know whose fault this is? This is the media's fault. Yeah. I'm going to blame the media on this one because this is what we do. We always we highlight the anomaly. We highlight that one yeah. runner who looks freakish, or that CrossFitter yeah, right. who looks jacked, and you know Herschel we, Walker. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know? We highlight these bodies that are absolute anomalies, dude. Mm -hmm, they're yeah. they're one in a million that that look sick, and mm -hmm. they also train in a sport that totally conflicts with their body type. It's just you rarely ever see it, and so we get these people that always have these athletic endeavors or sport like goals mm -hmm. that they want to achieve, while also Building an, an incredible bodybuilding type of physique. No, not going to happen. I, yeah. When I trained triathletes, they would train with me once or twice a week. And if they came twice a week, one day a week with was slow, traditional resistance training at a moderate intensity. I wasn't even going high intensity. Yeah. And the other day a week was literally all mobility, yeah. stretching, all damage control, massage. Dude. Yeah, that <laughs> kind of stuff. I that mean, was you're it. putting your body in a meat grinder yeah. Like yeah. with that pursuit. So. But I wanted to I wanted to make sure too though because I I've been there before where we like I said messed around and did like a muddy buddy type of race that's 10k, you know, and it wasn't yeah. like and I could have like if I really cared about winning that and that's all I cared about, I could have 
I would have put my training aside yeah. and dedicated it all to being one of the best racers out there. But I was like, nah, I just want to be able to complete it. I just want to be able to beat my friend. You right. know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to beat my buddy, but I still want to be jacked. And so most of my training still was centered around weightlifting. Yeah. And then I would throw in like a run or two, like a week, yeah. every yeah. week. Yeah. You can't tra casually do a triathlon. No, you, yeah. Yeah. Dude, you, can't, you yeah. can't do it. Swim one mile. Just do the first part. Just <laughs> swim one You'll mile. You'll drown. And yeah. see what happens. Yeah. <laughs>